Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable Redis Cache for WordPress on your Cloudways server. Let's go ahead and get right on into the tutorial here. Uh, before we can actually even enable Redis Cache, we need to add it to configuration settings in our WordPress conf file. So let's go ahead and log in via SSH. We can do that by clicking on our server under master credentials. We can launch an SSL terminal window, and that's just going to open up an SSH session in a new tab here. So uh, we still do have to type the username and password. So back here, we can copy the username, paste that in with control V, do the same thing with the password, copy that, control V, hit enter, and now we are logged into our server. What we wanna do is go into our applications directory here. And in here, if you have multiple applications, just make sure you're working with the right one. We can verify which one that is if we go to our applications tab back in our Cloudways dashboard. And this is the application that we're gonna be working with. It's a WordPress website hosted under the domain name careerquitter.com. So as you can see here, um, our database name, our username is this random string of characters starting with GAS. So that's what we're gonna go into. So let's CD into that username. And in here we will go into the public HTML directory. And let's go ahead and edit our wp.config or wpconfig.php file. I'm gonna use Vim for this. Uh, I'll have a tutorial on that if you don't know how to use it. The two settings you wanna change is the, if you don't already have it, the WP cache true. You wanna make sure that this is your first uh, line here in this file. Um, I already have it in here, so there's no change for me to make. Um, the other one is down here in the unique keys and salts section. We do wanna add one additional line in here and I'm gonna use my cheat sheet over here. That is gonna look something like this. Oops, let me get back down there and paste that in. Okay, so this says define WP cache key salt, and then you're pretty much giving it the domain name for your, uh, your application. And I think this just has to be a unique, uh, a unique string but the standard that Cloudways is looking for is for you to use your domain name. So go ahead and let's save these changes and we are good to go in there. I don't think we'll have to come back in here, but we'll leave this tab open just in case. So now back in Cloudways, let's go uh, back to the servers tab and go into there. And we want to come down to settings and packages and this is going to um, allow us to enable Redis. So let's go to the packages section here and you'll see that Redis is not installed right now. We can install it by clicking on install. And uh, this can take anywhere from just a few seconds up to a minute or two. And if it takes more than just a couple more seconds, I think what I'll do is go ahead and pause the video and I'll catch back up with you when it finishes. All right, we're back and Redis has been installed as you can see here. Now what we want to do is go into our application, in this case our WordPress application, into the WordPress admin dashboard and install the Redis object cache plugin. So um, you can either go directly there, or go back to the applications, click on your server here or your application and then click on the link here. And that's going to take us directly to our domain name slash WP dash admin. So in here, let's go to plugins, add new and we're looking for something called Redis Object Cache. And that's gonna be this one right here. So let's install that. And when that's finished, we can activate it. So let's activate it. And now let's take a look at the settings of this newly installed plugin, the Redis Object Cache plugin. Um, because Redis is installed on our server, now it should be as simple as clicking the enable object cache and that should detect that Redis is running and make that connection. And it is good to go. As you can see here, the status is connected. Um, here is some additional information about that. If you need to, you can come in here and flush the cache, uh, but let's go ahead and verify that this is actually working. So um, what I'm gonna do is make this uh, Let's, you know, we'll, we'll go back into the, we are gonna use our SSH session. Let's um, make this like half screen here. I have another window open here. What we're gonna do is use the Redis 
see it oops I spelled that wrong R E D I S dash C L I program and uh, pass it the monitor command and that's going to go ahead and it'll take a little bit to um, uh, I, unless actually at this point unless there is any activity on the page you won't see any output as long as you see okay you're good to go sorry about that uh, but when we can uh, in this other tab navigate to careerquitter.com and you did see some output right there um, hit enter you'll see that we can see all the activity for Redis Cache being spit out onto the screen. And we won't go into this as far as like what it all means, but you know that it's working. If we navigate to another page, you see that uh, additional output being shown to the screen and contact page, same type of thing. So that's just a quick way to verify and actually monitor what's going on with Redis Cache. I think that's about it for this one. If you want to see some more Cloudways videos, Redis videos, check out some of these videos over here. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.